Hello, my name is Mooncat and welcome back to another video on the St. Patrick's Day event. And in this video I will be going over how to get two or more druid temples from this event. So, how to spend diamonds uh, wisely in order to get more than one druid temple. And I'm going to do that using my cheat sheet where I have added another tab where you can you see a few different methods on how to get more than one druid temple. So in this video I will be going over this uh, page here uh, and uh, by doing so I will show a few different methods on how to spend the diamonds efficiently in order to get two or more druid temples. Uh, if you are watching this video I assume that you are familiar with the event uh, but if you're not, I would suggest that you uh, watch my guide on the event itself, or at least uh, skim through that before uh, watching this video, so that you are familiar with how the event works and how you're able to get uh, these uh, Druid Temple selection kits. So, with that out of the way, let me quickly go over these three methods before I show you how to use this uh, page on the spreadsheet. Uh, so this first method here is uh, basically strategy F from the previous uh, tab, from my previous videos, uh, but with uh, the added addition of buying uh, more uh, boxes uh, as well after towns. And how many boxes you buy will of course depend on how many druid temples you want. But I will get back into that uh, later. Uh, method 2 here. Uh, here you have to do 21 towns. Uh, now this uh, can be quite uh, difficult, but it is possible to do for uh, free uh, or without buying any time boosts. You should be able to complete each town in one day. Uh, the event lasts for 21 days, uh, so if you are really active, you should be able to do this without buying any time boosts. Uh, however, if you have, I know, a regular job or if you go to classes or stuff like that, I probably wouldn't recommend this. Or if you do go for this, you probably will have to buy some time boosts as well, because it does require you to be very precise. And the way, basically the way you do this is that, or at least how I would suggest you do this, is that each morning you set aside two hours where you are able to babysit uh, this town. Uh, in those two hours, uh, you start your town and you bring all. You bring your. Uh, if you go back here, you bring your festival and shipyard to level two hundred and fifty, your fireworks to level uh, thirty, and the rest of the buildings, uh, various level the levels depending on uh, the town. And then you level uh, your festival to level three hundred. Uh, which will take around uh, 9 hours or so, then your shipyard to level 300, which will take another 5-6 hours, and then your fireworks to level 50, which will take another 30 or so minutes. Uh, doing so, you should be able to start in the morning, and then around, uh, let's see, around 15 to 17 hours later, or actually, no, uh, around 17-18 hours later, uh, you should be set to go for overnight, where uh, in the course of six and a half hours you will be able to produce enough uh, shamrocks to progress. Uh, so this is very tedious, but it is possible to do. Now the final method here, uh, this one, uh, the number of towns uh, vary. And the way, basic way this works is that after a town, you can buy a uh, um, different amount of sets of uh, uh, boxes. So the first set will cost 1900, but then if you want to buy another one for one additional Druid Temple Selection Kit, oh, sorry about that, you have to uh, buy, you have to spend another 3900 uh, 3, uh, pots. Uh, so this is more expensive. Now the way this method works is that you, uh, for higher amounts of Druid Temples, you'd complete more than 21 towns. Uh, basically so that for each town the maximum amount of boxes you buy are two uh, boxes or two sets uh, So that you never buy this which is very expensive uh, But in order to make that possible you do have to complete more than uh, one town per day for higher levels For if you want to go for six druid temples for example You have to complete 26 towns so you have 20 hours per town 
And this assumes, and to do that, if you assume a 24 hour per town basis, you have to buy eight hour boosts 15 times. So that is included in the price. So that's the basic difference between these three strategies. And the way this uh, sheet works is quite simple. You input how many druid temples you want. Uh, you can also include how many pots you expect to pick up from incidents and whether or not you have the event surprise box. This is one free selection kit, so here the number of kits you need to pick up will depend on this. And down here you can see how many diamonds uh, this will cost with these different strategies um, based on these uh, values here. Uh, so here you can see that for a strategy uh, to get two druid temples, for example, uh, this uh, strategy, this uh, strategy here, strategy one, will cost uh, close to thirteen thousand uh, diamonds. Uh, method two, uh, two and a half thousand, and this uh, fourteen thousand. Uh, however, for two druid temples, I would still recommend going for this, because as I mentioned, this is a very precise method. So. If you mess it up, you will have to buy some time boosts, so I think this is the safer option. Uh, finally, down here you can see uh, which combination of pots you need to buy. Uh, this is for the cheapest, but of course, uh, here for example, uh, here this is the cheapest, however you only need another 50 or so pots. Uh, or if you buy uh, 8 of these instead of these, you only uh, yeah need an additional 45 pots. So. In this case, I would probably just buy eight of these, even though this is technically the cheapest way to do it. Uh, so yeah, uh, in addition, here we have if you want to, you know, buy, if you want to figure out how uh, which which of these pots to buy for a given amount of pots. So I don't know, let's say, for some reason, want to buy uh, seventeen thousand five hundred pots. Uh, here we have the combination you need to buy, uh, and this. It, this is the cheapest way to buy this. Uh, for example, if I go here to, I believe, 7,750 uh, pots. Here, for example, here you see that the cheapest way to get those amount of pots is actually to overspend a little bit and to buy nine of these uh, instead. So that is included uh, in the price here. And here you can see how many diamonds that will cost. So here you can uh, test for yourself. And here you have the price uh, or which to buy which combinations to buy for these uh, prices here. Uh, now finally down here, uh, here you can see uh, roughly when I would suggest going for these strategies. So I would suggest going for this one if you want one or two temples, uh, this one if you want uh, between two and five. As I mentioned for two here, this is the cheapest one, but it is very uh, tedious to do, so I would still go for this. Uh, but then for uh, for three, for example, here you can see that the price difference is very high. And the reason for that is that here uh, you have to buy six boxes 19 times. However, you only complete 14 towns, which means you have to buy the second set five times. And this is a lot more expensive. Uh, so here you have to buy six uh, boxes uh, 16 times. And because you do 21 towns, you can buy... Uh, you only need to buy for these prices. So that's what makes up the difference here. And then if you want to go for six or more, uh, here you can see that here you do 21 towns, but you need to buy 46 chest uh, boxes, uh, or six boxes to, uh, 46 times, which means you will buy the first set 21 times, the second set 21 times, and the last set, uh, what is that, four times. So here you spend a lot uh, buying the four, uh, the last set uh, a few times. Uh, but in this strategy here, you do a few more towns, which means you only have to buy these sets here. And by doing that, even though you do need to buy some time boosts, you are uh, saving diamonds. Uh, and this trend continues if you buy more. Here you can see that the difference grows very, very much. So. So yeah, this is definitely very hectic, but it is much cheaper if you plan to go really crazy on this event. Now, I probably wouldn't recommend going for any more than, I don't know, three Druid Temples. I don't think it's worth worth spending more than that. And even that, I'm, I think two is uh, good enough. So if you're planning, planning to spend the diamonds to get more than one Druid Temple, I would probably stop at two. Personally, I'm only going for one, uh, but... Uh, I wanted to make this anyway uh, for those who want to buy a druid temple and uh, show how to do it most efficiently. 
Uh, finally, uh, after each of these towns, uh, you uh, after completing these, uh, these number of towns, so 14 towns or 21 towns, you do need to complete some extra additional tasks uh, that you have to do in a new town, uh, but you do not need to complete these towns. So here we have a manager, the managers you need to complete uh, the number of uh, tasks, and here which town that is. Uh, however, for this one, uh, because this changes for each of these, so here you complete 21, for example, here you complete 9, oh, and so on. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, because you do that uh, here for this town, I didn't uh, bother writing up uh, which managers to get. You need to check that yourself. Uh, I did uh, write uh, here which town you need to uh, complete, or which town the last one is. Uh, so here, for example, if you buy six, uh, the last town will be town number three. If you do, if you want to buy seven druid temples, the last town will be two, and so on for this strategy here. Uh, so you don't need to figure out that yourself, but you do need to figure out which managers. So here, for example, uh, here you have uh, town number three. You need to complete nine tasks. Uh, so if we go back here, uh, here you need to complete uh, nine tasks in town three. Uh, so looking at this, I believe doing as simple as that, nope, that is not enough, and then, yeah, there. So for these managers, here you can see town 3, you're able to complete uh, 12 tasks uh, for 100 pots, 110 pots. Uh, so that's how you figure out which managers you need for uh, your town if you're going for this strategy. So yeah, uh, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, of course... Uh, one last thing, here are the managers you need to use for these strategies uh, for the different towns. Uh, so the only difference is that for strategy 1 uh, you uh, don't need to get the shipyard here uh, to level two, uh, to level 3 on town 1. But for these strategies uh, to be quick enough you do need to get it to level 3. It would be too slow to only have it at level 2. But you still uh, complete the same number of tasks, that is not different. Uh, but uh, the, you do need that extra level in order to speed up the town in order to complete it in the time necessary here. So yeah, that's more or less it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I will link my other guides to for, for this event in the description as well as this spreadsheet. I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the future.